Thank you for your interest in the Thomas Eakins in New Jersey exhibit. My name is Mary Judge and I'm a docent at the John F. Pito Studio Museum. I will be telling you a little bit about Thomas Eakins, an American painter, photographer, sculptor, and fine arts professor, and the time he spent in New Jersey with a group of students from the Philadelphia Art Students League. Eakins attended the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts from 1862 to 1866. He then left for Paris to study until 1870. On his return from Paris, he helped shift the American focus on landscape art to portraiture and athletic figures. In 1876, he became an instructor and eventually the director at the Academy where he stayed for the next 10 years. Eakins was then forced to resign from the Academy in 1886 because of his insistence and in use of a male nude model in a class that contained women students. Eakins was a rebel and very much ahead of his prudish time. A select group of students who had studied under Eakins left with him in protest and formed a new organization called the Philadelphia Art Students League. Many of the works of the boys, as they were referred to, are part of this exhibit. We are not exhibiting any actual paintings by Eakins, but do have sculptures and posters of paintings flanked by the original photos taken by Thomas Eakins and his wife Susan, which he used as studies for the paintings. Edward Bolton, one of Eakins' students, often invited them to spend time visiting his Point Pleasant home, and as a result of this friendship, Eakins and his wife Susan gave Bolton many gifts of oil studies, a portrait of Bolton, and glass plate negatives, which are being shown for the first time ever in this exhibition. Eakins was one of the first American artists to treat photography as an art form in itself. Known as one of America's greatest realist artists, he was fascinated with the human figure, which became the center of his work. He attended anatomy lectures at the Jefferson Medical College, and one of his most famous works is entitled The Gross Clinic, featuring a surgical procedure and lecture by Dr. Samuel Gross. As a realist, he became known for his anatomical accuracy of the human body. Very athletic himself, he often posed with his students for artworks depicting the beauty of the human form. Thomas Eakins met Walt Whitman in Camden, New Jersey and shared his fascination for the human body. Whitman posed for his portrait here and was photographed by another of Eakins' students named Samuel Murray for a later sculpture. Thomas Eakins encouraged field trips to paint from life rather than use romantic or classical cliches. To this end, he enjoyed hunting waterfowl with his father and friends in the tidal marshes of New Jersey's Delaware River and created a series of works during this time of hunting the railbird, small game birds that populate marshes. This is possible only at high tide when the pusher could propel the flat-bottomed cedar boat through the thick reeds with a 15-foot pole. This work is entitled Will Schuster and a Black Man Going Shooting, 1872. These images are two photo studies for his Pushing for Rail series. Unfortunately, Eakins contracted malaria um, in the marshes of New Jersey and he had to rely on photographic images more and more uh, later in his life in order to create his paintings. This next work is entitled The Artist and His Father Hunting Rail Birds on Cohansey Marshes. The photo study to the left was taken by Eakins' wife Susan who often helped him with his work. This 1881 work is entitled Mending the Net. Next to the poster are details of two photos that were used to create this artwork. If you're interested in more information about the Jersey Shore railgunning skiffs, you could find this book, The Seabright Skiff and Other Jersey Shore Boats by Peter Guthorn, or read more about Thomas Eakins in the book compiled by Daryl Sewell. This model of the railbird was carved by Doug Clinton and is on loan to this exhibit from Mr. Don Bottomley of Island Heights. The railbird was a small chicken-like bird who jumped up and down like a grasshopper and when in flight would drop like a stone usually right before the hunter took aim. Over 100,000 of these birds were taken in the last quarter of the 19th century 
and environmentally tempered 1,500 birds a year are currently taken by hunters. The photo on the left of collecting ice on the Manasquan River was taken prior to building the canal when it was a fresh water body and therefore froze. There is also a study for Manasquan River and sailing on the Manasquan. The photos of the Manasquan River were most likely taken while visiting with Eakin student Edward Bolton, who owned a home nearby. This platinum print, entitled Hauling the Net, Gloucester, New Jersey, you'll note that Eakins had begun to draw additional figures on the right-hand side. This large poster is entitled Shad Fisherman Setting the Net at Gloucester on the Delaware River. Note the photo detail of the Eakins family and their dog Harry at Gloucester, New Jersey, and the photo detail of Shad Fisherman were put together to compile this piece. This piece is entitled Pushing for Rail, painted in 1874, with the accompanying photo studies, pictures taken by both Thomas Eakins and Susan Eakins in order to compile the artwork. Thomas Eakins was always very interested in visiting the American Southwest, particularly the Badlands, to photograph cowboys. Unfortunately, due to ill health, he was unable to go out west, so had his student Edward Bolton pose on a horse, this photo study to the right, in order to prepare this artwork entitled Cowboys in the Badlands from 1887. This poster is of Thomas Eakins' work entitled Monsignor James P. Turner. The actual painting is life-size and is one of a series of 14 paintings Eakins completed on clergymen. While Eakins was a skeptic of organized religion, his respect for Turner's intellect and discipline is reflected in this work. This bronze sculpture of Monsignor James P. Turner is by one of Eakins' protégés, Samuel Murray. He was the 11th of 12 children and studied under Eakins at the Art Students League of Philadelphia beginning at age 17. He then became his assistant and an instructor at the Philadelphia School of Design for Women, now known as the Moore College of Art, at age 21 and held that position for over 50 years. He shared a studio with Eakins for eight years and remained good friends with him, helping care for Eakins in his old age. This color photograph is of Una O'Neill, Charlie Chaplin, and three of their eight children. They married when Una was 18 and Chaplin was 53 and had a very successful marriage, but had to live mostly in Switzerland due to Chaplin's McCarthyism, struggle with McCarthyism, and his alleged communism. Note the painting in the background of this photograph, which is of a Thomas Aiken's work shown to the right. The nude figure shown in this painting is of Una's grandmother, Cecil Bolton. Una is the daughter of Eugene O'Neill, the playwright, and Agnes Bolton. The photo of William Rush carving his allegorical figure of the Skulkal River is adjoining it and shows the required chaperone for nude women with male painters. The photo on the left was taken by Thomas Eakins of Edmund Quinn. Edmund Quinn was one of the boys, as they were referred to, who left the academy when Eakins was dismissed. He is playing the banjo in this photograph. The painting to the right is entitled To Cecil and was painted by Edmund Quinn. Most likely the model was Agnes, who would have been 12 to 13 years old at the time. The bust but to the right is by Edmund Quinn of Agnes Bolton, who again was the mother of Una O'Neill. Quinn studied at the Academy under Eakins and followed him to the Art Students League. He trained in Paris as a sculptor for a short time and is best known for his bronze statue of Edwin Booth as Hamlet in Gramercy Park. He committed suicide by drowning in New York City in 1929. This painting is entitled Manasquan Bayhead Canal and was painted by Edward Bolton. You will recall he had a home in Point Pleasant. The photo to the right was taken by Thomas Eakins of his former student, Edward Bolton. Bolton studied under Eakins at the Academy in 1885 and was president of the Art Students League from 1887 to 1903. He purchased a home in Point Pleasant, New Jersey on the Manasquan River and for 34 years painted the surrounding area and depictions of the work of pound fishing which is the use of a circular trap using 17 poles. He painted this as an expressive impressionist study. 
Bolton's firstborn child, Agnes, married Eugene O'Neill in 1918 and had a daughter, Una, who married Charlie Chaplin. Thank you again for visiting the Thomas Eakins in New Jersey exhibition at the John F. Pito Studio Museum. Please visit us again for our summer concert series, our fall exhibition, and our winter lecture series. Thank you again.